A plan to let parents use tax dollars to pay for private education takes shape at the Capitol. The governor says it can happen without hurting public schools. We can have it both ways. We can both improve public education while at the very same time empower our parents. But the plan faces critics on both sides of the aisle. Taking money out of the public school system um, to help a few that already have more choices than the kids I represent do, I think it's just categorically wrong. We look closer at the battle ahead over school choice in Texas. New bipartisan legislation promises to make the state's power grid more reliable. This is a starting point of powering Texas forward. What the plan does and why it's raising concerns about higher power bills for Texans. Big changes could be coming at the Capitol to make safety records on Texas veterinarians more transparent. But not all vets like what could be in store. Our investigation coming up. Produced from the Capitol in Austin and airing statewide, this is the award-winning State of Texas. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Josh Hinkle. Texas lawmakers filed a record number of bills before Friday's deadline. The final day brought a flood of bills. Among them, legislation focused on a top Republican priority this session, school choice. Capitol reporter Ryan Chandler looks closer at the bill and why it's raising concerns. Our schools are for education, not indoctrination. Governor Abbott's push for what he calls parental rights making its way into legislation on Friday. There's been a, a grass fire across this nation for parental uh, choice and uh, educational empowerment. State Senator Brandon Creighton chairs the Senate Education Committee. He hopes his Senate Bill 8 will fund education savings accounts with as much as $8,000 per family. That's a new plan to use state money to help some families send their kids to private school. This is education freedom. This is making sure that the state of Texas falls in line where we should be leading. Democrats argue that plan will take money from public schools and some Republicans are still skeptical. I think it's just categorically wrong. Panhandle Republican Ken King sits on the Public Education Committee in the House. He says this plan, what he calls school vouchers, would be a bad idea for his students and even for private schools. When you ask a private school to uh, take the STAR test or to participate in our A through F accountability system, I don't think they're going to be very interested in a voucher because those things would eat up whatever they made off the voucher. Senator Creighton and Governor Abbott insist, however, that public school funding will increase this session. We are all uh, fully intentioned to lift up public schools with the funding they need and also provide education opportunities that those need, that need it most, and those can reconcile. Ryan Chandler, State of Texas. Governor Abbott has been traveling around the state working to get his support for his school choice plan. When it comes to education, parents matter. It's just that simple. Parents deserve education freedom to be able to help their child succeed. And the way to do that is through school choice with state funded education savings accounts. The governor spoke Thursday to an audience in Tyler. He touted his plan to let parents use tax dollars to pay for private education, but he also promised to add billions of dollars in funding for public education, including more raises for teachers. So this is not an either or situation. People say you've got to either be for school choice or for public schools, one or the other, have it one way or the other. That's not the case. We can have it both ways. We can both improve public education while at the very same time empower our parents. The governor called on the audience in Tyler to reach out to their lawmakers to help push for the school choice plan. That's significant because, as we've told you, the governor faces a lot of opposition to his plan, and it's coming from Democrats and Republicans. What I know about charter schools and magnet schools and private schools, they typically don't go to the inner city and they don't come to rural Texas because there's not the student population to support them. So taking money out of the public school system um, to help a few that already have more choices than the kids I represent do, I think it's just categorically wrong. Um, I'm for all kids in Texas, not just the ones that live next to a private school. 
The Texas Council of Administrators of Special Education also came out against the governor's proposal. They're concerned because private schools are not held to the same standard for special education resources. Lawmakers in the Texas House filed six priority bills focused on education. The bills address school funding, school safety, and the challenge of hiring and keeping teachers. Representative Harold Dutton of Houston filed HB 11. The bill would raise per pupil funding going to school districts. It also boosts the minimum salary for teachers in Texas. Since 2019, the lowest amount a teacher with 10 years of experience could make is $45,000 a year. Under Dutton's bill, certified teachers with at least 10 years of experience would make at least $60,000. Another bill would require at least one armed security officer be present at every Texas school campus. The Representative Uvalde Dustin Burroughs of Lubbock filed that legislation. Answers. He chaired the House Committee investigating the Uvalde school shooting, where a gunman killed 19 children and two teachers. The bills are part of House Speaker Dade Phelan's list of priorities for the session. You can find more information about the legislation right now on our website. Just look for the links in this story in the Texas Politics section or scan the QR code on your screen to go directly to the page. A group of senators tout new bills to make the state's electric grid more reliable. Why some critics say it will likely come at a higher cost for consumers. It's already getting warmer. Now one lawmaker is working on a plan to help Texas renters beat the heat. What she's doing to push landlords to work faster to fix broken air conditioners. Following our investigation, state lawmakers are looking at ways to tackle transparency and licensing problems for Texas veterinarians. The safety update that could be coming soon at the Capitol.